Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Ossie Godwin, and I've got my amazing co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Benny Hart. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hi, Ife. How are you doing? Hi. I'm great. We dragged the cat out of the bag, right? Yeah, the cat, man. Who's the cat here now? Me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are mm -hmm. the cat. No, I'm, like, I'm like a big cat. Like, a tiger. Like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it's good. Good mm -hmm. to be with you ladies this morning. How are you doing? Looking good, by the way. Always. Looking paying as always, if I Thank you. Well, this is Great. the first show together, so let's yes, see Yes, this is our first show together. Mm. Yeah. So can we like toast tea to that? Do they toast with tea Do you that? even yeah, like I mean, toast with yeah. tea? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Taylor Swift ranks best-selling global artist in 2019 thanks to the success of her album Lover. Lover was Swift's seventh studio album. Um, Ed Sheeran came second while Puss Malone followed. Um, I think that's this is the second time she She's is here. doing this. Yeah. It, it happened first in 2014, right? And um, congratulations to her. Yeah, she, she has just... been in the business for a while. I was actually a Taylor Swift fan when I was younger. Like, I knew every lyrics, every song of the first album, 17, 16, mm -hmm. all those ones. I knew everything. Um, and she has stayed consistent, I have to say. I'm not as big of a fan, I think I've just grown. Um, differently, but um, she has the consistency in the type of music that her audience is looking for. Um, but I would say that her song has gotten a lot more pop. There used to be more country before. She's growing. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. gotten a lot more pop. Um, and this particular album, I think, was a bit more serious. There were some songs, like the actually the most streamed on that album, Me, was irritating to me, still irritating. That me, 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 me. It's like, okay, put something else uh, other than me in your lyrics. Mm -hmm. But it did really well. Other than that, she actually tackled a lot of songs about um, social ills, and I, I really like that. She got many awards for the one on LGBTQ, she's done on, on climate change, she's done on a lot of other stuff. So she's doing conscious music, and that's, that's nice. Oh, interesting. Like, Taylor's doing conscious music. That's why well, I say pop music. Yeah, I'm um, not a real fan. No, I'm not a fan of Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. No, I've never been. I don't know, but I think a consistency is what I'm, I'm impressed with. Yeah. Um, mm. she, on, on the top 40, she's had like 25 top 40s in a singles chart. She's had like five number ones on the Billboard um, charts. And so yeah. she, a consistency has, has been all the way. And so she's had a fantastic career. She still is having a fantastic career. And I think there's no stopping to Taylor Swift. Sometimes when I think about it, I think about her as what Britney was in my time right. to what Taylor Swift is to this present generation. I don't that know if you're following to that generation. So, <laughs> it made you feel so old. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, so I see, I see, I see as, a cross, as a cross between um, Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera. Oh, that's, but you're calling a, powerful names. Yes, those are like, powerful names, you they, know. They, and they were more like sexy. Oh, yeah. um, Tell us if it isn't really. She's just coming into yeah, that now. Yeah, just, yeah. just recently. Which is why I said she's okay. going. She, yeah. I think we're going to see a lot more of Taylor Swift. She's mm. not done. I don't think she's close to being done. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of evolving, a lot of different sides of her coming out, and more stronger music, like you rightly mm. said. So I, I really love her, the span of her career and how yeah. it's going. And I don't think she's had too many scandals, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. other than that, the fact that she swaps boyfriends really quickly and she thinks about all of them. This is her life. Uh, this is actually, you know, there was a comment <laughs> on social media, I know that I was talking about that. that they no, were but if that saying, doesn't happen, she's not going to come out with a record. Thank you. That, 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 that that they're even saying that this, <laughs> but she's actually in a relationship now and it's been the longest in a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people are, are, are crediting that relationship to this album that's it. Ah. So, every album is, is a relationship gone bad yeah. for taylor swift yeah. so i think it's just that <laughs> and we're still waiting for adele like mm. i don't know what's going on but she needs to be fast okay moving on to Ariana. the next story <laughs> megan the stallion accuses her label of holding her new album hostage she revealed the conflict with the um, label as she addressed her new album delay in a video she says she is not allowed to put out any new music so um the video was on a live Instagram chat. I don't know why she looks so unserious mm. in the video. Like, you're talking something real serious yeah. and you're just licking lollipop and, yeah. you know, yeah, let me repeat that. You have a question again. You know, you know yeah. I, think, yeah, I think that is because she didn't expect it to be an issue that the label is having with her right now. She just wanted a renegotiation. Mm -hmm. um, she was young, 20 at a time. She signed. She's 20 that young. Yeah. Well, you can be very pretty much naive to many things about contractual law. I mean, mm. when it comes to what it is you're putting pen and paper to. I see. And maybe again. It's, it's interesting to see you sound like this. Because if this was a Nigerian <laughs> I'm going to come to that. You're going to I'm going to come to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to come to that, Elsie. Mm. And so she just said, you know what, okay, um, 
can we have a re renegotiation? And mm -hmm. that was what she asked for. Mm -hmm. And then they went bonkers on that. So maybe that was just to let them know, no, I, I wasn't really taking this thing seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys acting this mm -hmm. way? And then the, the, the head of the record label, Crawford, came out to say she's not made him any money. Oh, wow. And like, okay, and like... Um, That's impossible. That, exactly. Um, um, a, a team is saying, no, that is totally untrue. That of she, course. She brought in a whole lot of money. And so if she's asking for a, a renegotiation, Think about it and don't. And again, people think it because you know she has this signing uh, management deal with Rock a Nation. Rock Nation. Mm -hmm. So maybe again, that's a sour taste to to Crawford, and it's not finding it funny. Right. You know, okay, you about to take my cash cow away she from me. She was trying to explain but, that as well. She's saying they are yeah. both independent platforms, and for Rock, um, she's not signed under them. They're basically just managing. It's her. management deal. Yeah. Yes. So I I think he should really understand and come back to the table because this this came as a rude shock to yeah. her. But she's wondering. I only wanted a negotiation. Yeah. Why What's are you the big doing deal? This? Yeah. It's interesting because yesterday we were talking about yeah. um Solid Star. And I, I think just Nimi mentioned her. Yeah and it, it's it's it, it's kind of nice to know that okay same thing's actually happening somewhere else i'm not just so backward mm -hmm. and it gave me the insight now that every contractor always says they don't make money it's like a thing now because with solid star we could have like mm, maybe you didn't but with megan the stallion it's very clear you did make money so it's just the tactics that they say like oh we you didn't you didn't we, i didn't make any money off yeah. you but we know that, that that's an actual lie so, I'm trying to remember the, the, the exact thing that happened with Tiny and, and, and um, YC, YC right yeah. now for so the mm -hmm. same thing. And then a few other yeah, artists. I think for his, own, yeah. um, for his own, he wasn't getting royalties for yeah. the constant streaming of all the works yeah. he had with um, yeah. Tiny. So, and then Tiny came out to say, oh, we broke this, um, <laughs> we um, broke yeah. this record. Yeah. And yeah. I'm saying, at least even if you're not paying royalties or paying us what we Pay deserve, something. just tell us, at least give us credit to say yeah. this was an, a YC work or an, a YC album yeah. or something. Whatever it is, I think there will always be beef somehow. Of but course. it's time for a quick break, and when we return, there's definitely more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Minimal are you? Mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Tonto DK dares Church Hill to sue her if he's not bisexual. Hmm. Okay, so like we know, <laughs> this has been oh, wow. um, layers of conversation. Um, I think it was about last two weeks we discussed um, Church the, Hill saying he was going to sue her for 500, damages, yeah. 500 million. Yep. Is it Naira? Yeah. yeah. Naira. Uh -uh. <laughs> <Six. dollars. laughs> okay, and now she's responding from her response. It's it's looking like that suing was, was an bluff. audio wasn't what? A bluff. But yeah, it was an yeah. audio suing. That's thought she was bluffing. Maybe. Yeah, mm. and she's saying, I dare you to sue me if you are not bisexual. You know, mm -mm. my, my mm. hunch in all of this is, you know, I don't know why people constantly feel the need to like shame people for their sexual preference or sexuality. Mm. I don't care the whole hula baloo and what's going on between Chachi and Toto Diki. We all know yeah, it was a bad No, but you know in this part you know, of this the world, it's illegal. This so is it's, it. it's, 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 it's illegal. a illegal. It's a, it, that's the thing. Elsie, Elsie, Elsie. We want illegal to understand the, explain the illegal. Exactly. Isn't it yeah. caught in the act? Illegal? Exactly. Mm. Like, being caught in the act. But you can't just wake up and say somebody so is cannot, without yeah, any proof. Yeah. You know, did you catch them in the act? I don't understand. She used to be married to this man. This is my point. Was she privy to the act? Well, Toto was she, DK was she would have to answer to. that now, question. Now, but this is my point. I know what it is, right? I mean, face the real issue. Mm -hmm. Sue him for the real issue. His sexuality. They're not suing they're, anyone. They're, they're exactly. just tagging and um, pulling no, on each other. She also said something um, in one of the blogs. They picked it where she said she gave him the fame he has now. Mm -hmm. And that she can give his entire village the fame if they want it. But I think Church Hill should also move on. He needs to 
let this whole thing go because mm -hmm. it seems like when they want to be talked about or church he wants an attention he will reply to you know Tonto. he will reply to Tonto and yeah, Tonto, but both of them but they leave they seem to leave for that especially Tonto. To no this, this started this, another, this started this, with, yeah, Churchill. with Churchill this is another Tonto and, and I also and like to of, raise this every time know. let's not forget Tonto was not responding until last yeah. year yeah she was not responding until last year yeah. it's very easy for um people to paint her as the crazy person but he's been doing a lot of defaming as well he started this whole thing um it was interesting though that she said in the screenshots of her uh, instagram post that she said my ex at, when she was talking about mm. being um gay, gay yeah. that I was talking about my ex but how many exes but you've always been saying that this was churchill so it was that already made me feel like you're talking too much and you can't keep up with your with your own stories um, if he's bisexual, okay, I, I really don't care. Um, but being bisexual doesn't mean that um, the person has to, has a right to cheat on you with other people. No. So that's that, it's not it's not it's not the issue. He can feel any My way. But actually, how does that affect no. your relationship? Was he then sleeping with other people? Was he even for sleeping with a woman or a man? The idea is that he's still sleeping with other people outside. So. Are you in the? Are you trying to tell us something that you're a victim? Why are you just trying to like shame someone? Like I don't, I don't understand what's happening. For me, I think it's the angle of shaming because at the end of the day, turn to there are questions to be asked. When did you find out that Chachi was bisexual? Mm -hmm. You know, same time she found out he wasn't a person just so. Well, same time he found out that yeah. he yeah. was a Yahoo boy, boy and, exactly. and the two seconds. What is that, was that, based, fought, wow, was, was okay. that based on this yes. ground? Was that based on this that you you asked both of you went your separate ways? Because if it's not, it's coming up to me right now. You know, you're just trying to shame somebody because mm. you're trying to have the more points for this person. So. Whether we accept it or accept, like it or not, whether the, the, the side of the country doesn't like it, it's illegal, some people are gay. Deal with you, it. You, and you can't, there's nothing, there's you, can nothing do about you can it, do about it. I think you they know. need to stop. They, they both just need to stop. Yeah. Their son is getting older. Um, he clocked, was he three? Can't be caught in all of this mess. I mean, there. he's growing. He's mm. getting to and that point where do he can better. pick up I mean, his phone be, and read. So mm. they need to stop. That's where I'm you know, I, I don't want to say Churchill will be the man, but I think he should just, I mean, take, up, take yeah. example from people like, be um, human what's his name? <laughs> um, Token Mac and Wise yeah, Exes. Yeah. Um, um, Maji. I mean, there was there was anything he hardly said. All of that people when the book was being publicized and being read all over the places, he kept mute. Not because they didn't have anything to say. Mm. But they and went so, to court, though. They, that's it. They went mm. to court. But there was he's, he's doing actual battle and talking. Could he's not dragging. Anything he said on Twitter mm. in response to to talking about you up. Yeah, Let's move on. Mm. and have uh, very coincidentally, we're talking about Toki Makuma right now. Oh, wow. She says, husband <laughs> will not fly inside the roof to find you. She's advising single ladies to go out, meet people, have fun. But the interesting part of this conversation is that she said she doesn't go out. Mm. She doesn't meet people. And people are questioning that and saying, Toki, you are almost everywhere, mm. every event. How exactly are I'm you not going out? I'm thinking she's a socialite. I mean, what does she mean she doesn't go out a bit? Well, what you see, the thing is that socialites don't actually socialize. They show up, they take pictures, and then they go. They go. Mm -hmm. It's kind of overwhelming. Um, I have family that is pretty close in that in that lifestyle, okay. and I'm in the living room when they leave. I haven't finished watching a series. They've come back home because all they've done <laughs> is just gone home, gone to the event, you know, done that. It's kind of overwhelming for them to be a known face. You'd be surprised how lonely those people are, even though the whole world knows them. Um, having quality engagement having real connection with people is all is close to impossible very sure, close to impossible sure. with those people because even for me now if i meet talking about i really don't want to know who she is and her real struggles i just want to take a picture and like you know surface stuff and then move on with my life and that's a lot of other people that yeah. she meets on a daily basis so i understand where she's coming from with that um and, and, and i was also going to say that that's why most of the people in her lane of work always find people who are either outside of nigeria that don't really know her fame or are not in the industry not on social media or either super old or you know something weird like that so i understand where she's coming from you know, interesting i was actually having a talk with somebody yesterday about tonto and the person feels i don't so much like toke i'm a beggar pardon to i'm toke i like no i don't hate toke matter of fact i met toke like one two three times she's been on my radio show for an interview doing a book um we met in two different events I just don't subscribe to a whole lot of her thoughts, but that right. doesn't mean I hate her, you know. But but on these again, I think I have a problem with you saying the reason single ladies should go out is because for them to meet potential life partners. Mm -hmm. No, there, there are many reasons why single ladies should go out. I mean, go discover you, go find you, go go have fun by yourself, take yourself out, oh. and if in the process, 
You know, even in the process, I you do meet somebody. I, I think she's talking about single ladies that single want ladies, that's to what I'm saying. be in a relationship, though. She's not talking about like the entire. Then be entire... very specific because she just says single ladies, you know, right. and like she she but didn't. She if didn't, she you if you're calling an individual, if we try to to streamline so her conversation yeah. to just single ladies that are actually looking for um, a relationship. Because it's not all single partner, ladies out there would you, that are looking for a relationship. Wouldn't you advise them to go out more? Yeah. That's not going to be the reason I'm going to ask you to go out more. Go out more because it's what you no, want. No, but I'm, I'm a single more. lady coming to you. Yeah. I'm saying that I want to be in a relationship. Would you advise me to go out more? Go out more to do what? To discover you? To what? To, to, to meet this is a, hold up, this is To it. go like, fish. Hold up. To go I was just going to say that. Hold up. That, to, to meet with different men on different dates and all that. Is that it? Put myself out there. Yeah, socialize. Meet people. Are there, are men. there, are there, are there, are there so detriments men. to that? What do because you, you, you got to be ready for what that might come with. Which is socializing. Like we're socializing what? because at the end of the day, I mean, you might you might get into yourself into wrong hands. You might be you might be mistreated by one or two guys. So, I mean, Benny, I'm just saying. Would you advise yeah. people who are single that want to meet people to just stay to, indoors? To stay indoors. Is to stay indoors. Yeah. No, I would say go out, go out, but be That's very careful. Saying. That's what I'm saying. That's no, what she's saying. She just single did not ladies who want to marry. I mean, husband will not come and meet you. She said it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm saying that should not be the reason alone you encourage single ladies to go out. Mm. I think you're Just overcomplicating this <laughs> thing because she talks about single ladies. Okay. She talks about marriage. So it's not about the whole individual. It's just this aspect of their lives where they are single and looking for marriage. And she's advising you on that are you connection. Single? No, I'm not. Are you single? When you go out every time, you go out with intention, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to find a man here. Yeah. Some ah, some nights when I was single. Times. Okay, so I don't necessarily take myself out like that. But when I do, I'm going to probably watch a movie and I'm focused. That's what right. I'm saying. So you don't have ever in your in your mind an intention to meet someone. Yeah, like, of course. Uh, I mean, you hope to meet someone. Every time you go out. No, it's not it depends on where I'm going. Times, times, what I'm times, going to do. The times I go out, event, I just want to be. I just want to be all by myself. And sometimes are somebody, you single? Right now. Yeah. Um. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> ben, yeah, you seem to say kind of. Kind of. You know, but this is, my, this is my point, right? I'm saying so we don't create a narrative mm. that people will fall into and get into I trouble. Think, I think I get where you're coming you know, from. Because sometimes if that's the only thing you are thinking about when yeah. going out, you probably... Um, you are not yourself anymore. Yeah. You can come out as desperate. Yeah. You, you can much, actually you know, fall for any gimmick because well, the, yeah. the very me, first I'm, high is a big deal for you. Maybe it's because you for know, me, so, I'm a yeah. lot more social. So even if I'm not single right now, I still go out deliberately to find connection. That's the reason why I'm leaving my house. I'm not going to mm. go and watch the walls. I think I'm, 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 as much like as I'm single, I people. think I really go out to see if I can meet the next business partner. I'm sorry. I'm just. Yeah, you have to be intentional about your goal. But network, networking encompasses network. a whole lot yes, of things. You can network so you can business, then you can find love find, in yeah. that. You know, you know if this is my Absolutely. point, right? I'm not totally discarding what Tok has said, but I'm just saying so we don't get because Too of some exactly with right. it. And I think you know, every time I go out, I'm going and hoping. Yeah, I like that, and I think we'll, we'll be able to establish to some yeah. boundaries, yeah. and yeah. people should pick one or two things from that. Right. All right, I think we need to go on a very quick break, but when we come back, we have one more story to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still by. Some side they look myself minimal are you? Mm. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like sleeping early, sleeping early. Most people don't need a miracle, they need money because 90% of the things they pray about, money can solve. They feel so unblessed because they have little of it. They have been conditioned to think that they are only blessed when they have much of it. And this is coming from Timmy Dakolo. 
I couldn't write this tweet any better, to be honest. Mm. Like, I feel like he nailed it. He used the right words. I think my student communications just came out. What he used was like conditioning, blessings, miracle, and and the you know financial status. So it was it was really spot on. It's true. It's very 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 true. I've lived in two different types of world. One where it's um, money driven, like we need money, we need money, we're poor, and one that's affluent. And every time it works, if you take out, if you take out need, you take out religion. I'm not saying that religion isn't necessary. Spirituality is, 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 is key. Is religion necessary? I don't think it because is. Because you just said the right thing, spirituality, it's key. And yeah. that is the essence of our being. But which is it, what is yeah, very important. Yeah, but spirituality and religion are the same. They're not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I'm saying the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, if you take that out, if you take that um, need for money, you, you break down churches, you break down a lot of businesses, you run out of all these programs that are happening three times, four times, six times a week. You break, that, you break all of that down. But is this an insensitive thing to say to Nigerians is where I want to have this conversation because we're not, we don't have good, good an insensitive thing to say? Yeah, that because doesn't, that, doesn't make, I, I that doesn't like, make it less the truth. Yes, but <laughs> I think that in reality, yeah. Nigerians need churches. That's why I, mm. I yeah. Hmm. I think they have done a lot of because nobody they, they else. need something to hold yeah. on to, to for sanity. To, for, yeah, I think that's for what. sanity. Like, what are you gonna give these people? We don't have government. I'm not gonna do it as a individual who's <laughs> more privileged. I'm not. I don't even give beggars money. So, who is going to actually help these people other than having like togetherness and unity, being able to share the little that they have? I've been to churches and in, mm -mm, remove sermons. It makes sense. <laughs> So, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you know, for me, this is right. I agree with the, uh, most of the things you did say, all right. I asked a few of my friends that, listen, if today you can have everything you ever want in, for life, mm -hmm. are you still going to go to church and pray? Would you still pray to I'll this still God? I'll still pray. Why? But probably we'll go to church. I'm not even going because to church right this is what, 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 this is what I feel they've reduced. I think the prayer will be different. This is what religion has reduced God to, maybe a particular religion, mm -hmm. that is, is, is a need meeting being. Mm. And that is the only way people get to connect with him when yeah. they have needs. And so when things are not okay, I got to connect with this spiritual source because he's my need provider. He so, mm -hmm. it supplies my need. All right, and I said to people who live in countries where we don't face, they don't face what we face here, your religion is not going to sell. If you, if you go to, to, to the UAE, your religion is not going to sell. What are you going to tell them that I'm um, trusting my God, he supply your need? What need are you talking about? Mm. All right. But like Shuali said, because the government has failed us. And so people need something to, it's like Novocaine, to, to lessen the pain. Mm -hmm. You know, things are not okay. So you're holding it on to the spiritual force you feel. But the, the more constant you're in, uh, you know, the more focus you give to it, it helps you resolve all of your let, issues. Let, but this is it again. Mm -hmm. um, this is money. This is religion. Mm -hmm. What would you go for? Okay, I, I like that you two took it from here. <laughs> but I won't take it from here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, what he's saying for some, because I read comments, and I li I, like I said, I like where you guys are taking it from. That's like on, on, on another level for yeah. those who really love their spirituality and want to live like a very defined life, right? But for some, it's just very basic. So a person needs help, and mm. the person speaks to you, and you say, it is well. God mm. will help you. No, the person needs help. Yeah. Are you connecting this person to someone? Uh, who can help or them. you're going to help this person financially or you're going to advise them in a way that it will help them. It is well does not help anyone. And I sometimes agree. when you're deep in that mess, that word can actually break you. Yeah. Right? Or the phrase. And then secondly, I think this should also go to churches. Especially when you have members. You you're flying private jets and you're driving the best cars, but your members some of your members have not been able to eat or they cannot eat three square uh, meal, right? Okay. An example is Cornell University. The church built the, Let's not even get the there. university, the, 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 but the people yeah. can't so can you their create, kids to that same Can university. you create like a system that can help those people? I know that there are churches that have systems for widows, systems for orphans. You can go in there and tap in. So it's not just saying get the admission, God will do something. They actually have a system yeah. to help you pay that school fees and of see course. you through school. But there are so many churches as well so that are not more, doing yeah. this, right? And they I don't say misplaced priorities, but I mm. think that's the, that's the best phrase I can yeah. use. So I think it's more, I think he's more of saying that we should 
try to help people yeah. when people are coming to you to say not just the churches not even as individuals when they're saying this is the issue i have yeah. mm. think about it from the angle of saying how can i help not yeah. always sending them to the bible yeah. and telling them it is well We've definitely it is well and god is not everything. going to come down to make it well he's going to use somebody can you try to be the vessel that god is going to use yeah. and if you cannot be that vessel in maybe in, the, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a bigger way, you can also be that vessel in a smaller way by the words you choose to use. And it's also good to mention that well, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that um, developed countries don't have churches. It's they just do. very watered down and almost more personal than group in and shilo and all of that stuff. Um, so there is still that um, um, aspect of spirituality because man isn't just flesh. We know that. So how you decide <coughs> to feel that exists globally the one thing I would say, though, is I always imagine, like, what would Nigeria look like without religion? Because religion plays the family planning. If the government, if the the government was working. It's not just about the government now. Mm. It's about it's the about, people. It, it, yeah, it's, they, they do family planning. They do um, um, Reli um, Religion will not just be... They do all the things where in uh, abroad you have, like, a call center for rape you go not, to your church you have a planning. call center for this you go to your pastor. You mentioned family plan over the weekend i was with a friend and we were speaking to someone and well you can still classify this person as one of the rural people in the society right. and he said he has three children now and my friend says are you done with having children i said yes i don't finish you and then i said are you done by saying you are done or you're actually taking measures to right. make sure you're done and he's saying ah god no give me another one and i'm like okay mm -hmm. Clearly, he's not yeah. done. We're yeah. expecting another baby soon. I think mean, my final thoughts is at this, right? I'm not going to downplay the, the importance and um, the sukkah religion is given to all of the souls. Maybe mm -hmm. by now, we have a lot of madness in our street than what is currently obtainable. Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying that for the essence of what many people hold on to religion to, it's not what it's meant to be. Yeah. And that is failure of leadership, of government. About, are there churches doing their best to help people yeah, every are. now and then? They yes, there are. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying people need to understand the fact that, you know what, he's not just a need meeting being. Mm. He wants a relationship. That's yeah. what they say. He, so, it, could I mean, it could be a she. It could be a she. Okay, I mean, well, that's how we wrap up because mm -hmm. we're entering mm -hmm. another level of she and he being God. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Sexist. And remember, you can catch up on this conversation on all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, La Plus TV Africa. You can also watch it time on Arsu TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to my amazing co-anchors, Ife Omai and Benny Ark and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us. Thank you.